What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Stone Journer rain team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel. So, normal rain team here with that Ludicolo and the Pelipper. We also have Raichu over here for that Lightning Rod. You guys kind of already know what all three of those Pokemon do. We have the Raichu for the Lightning Rod, so a Electric Hits, Ludicolo, Swift Swim in the Rain, and Pelipper to set the rain. And then the three other Pokemon that are kind of not normal to it. I guess the Gyarados, you can consider him normal to a rain team. We'll talk about him first. He has Moxie on him, boosts his attack when he gets a kill. He has a Charity Berry so he can eat up a Rock Shot. And then he has Waterfall, Dragon Dance, Bounce of Power Whip, a normal move set for him. Nothing too special over here. But the two Pokemon in the bottom right corner, the Stone Journer and the Noctowl, ooh wee yo. Adding something new to a rain team right here. We got Noctowl with that Life Orb. He's going to be fun to use the Dynamax, actually. Use uh, Max Airstream. Booster team speed and roll out from there. He has Calm Mind, he has Roost, and Protect. And then Hurricane has his uh, stab little hitting move, which is 100% hitting in the rain. So that can be absolutely devastating and huge damage. And then in the final spot, this is who our spotlight Pokemon is. We've got Stone Journer. His ability is Power Spot. So whenever he's out on the field, him and the ally Pokemon beside him will actually get a 1.3 times boost for attack and special attack. So that's just big damage. We're going to be able to one tap Pokemon left and right. He has wide guard to protect us from double hitting moves, protect, rock slide, and EQ. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. If you do use it, let me know how you do with it and let me know what you guys think of Stone Journer. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. Going up against a Trick Room slash Sun team in battle number one. I don't know how we're going to go into this. Obviously, that Torkoal has Sun Advantage because he's slower. So, I don't lead Pelper. I cannot lead Pelper. If I just go straight into Stone Journer and Gyarados, I think that can be pretty solid lead. I think that can actually be a pretty solid lead. And then we go Pelper for the back in case we want to take out the Sun. And then I think we maybe bring Noctowl. I don't think we really need uh, the Swift Swim or the Lightning Rod, right? I really don't think we need that. We're going to go with Noctowl in the back end. I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to rely on that Gyarados with the Power Spot and Stone Journey. And then the Noctowl in the back to actually do the damage. And then we'll re uh, rely on the Pelipper to get the rain out. Take any weather conditions he has and roll from there. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head in that link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We do viewer tournaments on every single Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So when this video goes live, it will be Saturday. So the tournament will be tomorrow. So make sure you be on the stream at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you want to catch a spot in the tournament. Because like the first 15 minutes, we use that to actually queue up and uh, set up a tournament. But here we go. It goes Sun right off the bat. And this is kind of exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. I think we're going to have to swap. Uh, who are we going to swap here, though? We're going to swap. We are super effective with all. I could go for an EQ. I mean, EQ kind of rocks out pretty strong. I could just go for a rock slide. Potentially get some flinches, do some big old damage. And then take out the, uh, the drought with the rain. But then he has rock. He has a, a rock move, which is uh, kind of scary. So I'm actually just going to swap out the Stone Journey. I'm going to swap out the Stone Journey, and I'm going to go into the Pelipper. And then I'm going to go for... Do I Dynamax and just go straight for a Max Airstream? Onto the... What's it called? Hmm. I could. I could just go straight for a Max Airstream over on the, the Venusaur. Let's do it. Potentially have a Moxie boost up. And then roll from there. Let's get it. No more sun. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. He's probably going for an eruption and maybe a sleep powder. Or I think he would have went for a energy ball or a Giga Drain or a leaf storm into my stone journer. One of those options. But I think we're chilling either way. Let's see what happens here. We're going to Dynamax, obviously. Get this max airstream off. Boost our speed. And start rolling from there. He's not taking the trick room side. So I wonder who he has. I know he has Turquoise. He has Venusaur. Probably going to bring Clefairy somewhere in there. And then <laughs> I don't know who his last spawn is. I guess we'll find out a little bit. I guess we'll find out in a little bit. Yeah. Let's see. Get it, Gyarados. Get it. I love how he has stab air moves. Like, that's just awesome. Look at this max airstream coming in here. Can this one tap? Hopefully, this one taps him. It should be able to one tap. I was just thinking, does he have a sash or not? And there we go. We get the moxie boost now. So, we're going to be able to get the speed boost and attack boost. So, beautiful. It is just like we uh, use a Dragon Dance. And now we're still dying, guys. And we're in the rain. We're going to be able to do some work. Hopefully, this thing goes for like a heat wave or a eruption. The rain uh, can actually. Oh, defuse it a little bit. And he goes for a solar beam right off the rip. Right off the rip. I'm going to just dump on that. I'm going to just dump on that next turn. I'm going to just throw a Max Geyser and say, Night, night, yo. This shit. We do. We're looking good right here. We're looking good. The Torkoal is going to go down here. And then uh, Hatterene is going to come out here. Um, what's... Hmm. Do I let that solar beam come out? Do I let that... Actually, yo. He's got to be going on this side, right? He's got to be going on this side. I'm going to dump on the Hatterene, just so he doesn't get off, off that Trick Room. 
I'm gonna say he comes after my Pelipper. I'm gonna say he comes after my Pelipper. Because I think he was planning to go after my Sojourner with that. And we're gonna go here. Nice guys are you this should be able to take out Hatterene, no problem. Get that Moxie boost once again. Yo, we are just one-tapping left and right. Let's go. Let's go, dude. I know that the, uh, the Torkoal is going to get one tap, no problem. We're plus two in the rain. And he cannot swap out and get the sun back in unless he has another mod to set the sun. Solar Beam comes out. It goes into my Pelipper. Just like I said, yo, we running it. <laughs> and he quit the battle, yo. Let's get it. Let's get it. This dude saw that we read the protect. He's like, nah, dude. Hit that button. And he cancels out. Are you serious? People really do that. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I still can't believe people quit battles that easily. Like, oh my god, just wait for the turn and hit the run button. It's that simple. But second battle here, he has a Trick Room team or a Sun team. Oh, same thing, kind of. Trick Room or Sun. He has a Torkoal, the Charizard. He has a Ranguru to instruct by Piriur. Copper Raja, probably G-Max Copper Raja, and the uh, Delmai. So he's probably going to try to roll Trick Room turn one. Um, that's fine by me, but who, is he, who would he lead? Do I go power spot? Oh, I could go power spot. I could lead Stone Journey. Because if he goes, um, if he goes, uh, what, what is that thing called again? The Oranguru. If he goes Oranguru, we can kind of just uh, throw things at it and get rolling from there. Hmm. Yeah, let's go Gyarados and Stone Journey. Let's get that lead going. I thought, hmm. And then, yeah, Pelper in the back end. And then I think we bring Swift Swim. He has no lightning moves. He has no lightning moves, so I don't really have to worry about it. I'm going to bring uh, Swift Swim Ludicolo here. Swift Swim Ludicolo. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. He just boosts his speed in the rain. But my plan is to lead the Stone Journer and roll out and take out the Ranguru in one shot. Because we'll have Power Spot. We can eventually Rock Slide. Or we can go for an EQ, which is beautiful. That is huge for having uh, Gyarados by our side. So we can go for an EQ. Won't hit Gyarados. And then we can actually uh, do some big damage maybe with a Geyser. Or a Airstream to boost our speed for later. It really depends who he goes into. But let's see. Let's see who he goes into. He goes into a Ranguru and Rhyperior. So Rhyperior is obviously going to protect. I think he's trying to uh, pull a move over to the his side, or the Rhyperior side. So I'm just going to drop an EQ, obviously. Got that power spot, and then I think I just go here, and I go, do I go Airstream or Geyser? I mean, we're going to outspeed regardless, so I'm just going to go Geyser on here, and then I'm just going to drop a nice little EQ. Nice little EQ on everybody with some Journer's power spot, yeah. <laughs> Yo, dude, times 1.3. 1.3 attack and special attack. Like, I'm surprised we're just starting to see this in the meta. meta. Like, Stone Journer is going to be a beast. You're going to see a few good teams with him. So, you see Stone Journer. Try, try to take him out early on. But this dude leads to Rhyperior. What's he think I'm doing? He's got to protect, right? He's got to protect. I'm reading the protect from the Rhyperior. And we just take out the Ranguru so he does not get off a Trick Room. And then we can potentially just keep going and sliding over and rolling from there. I mean, the EQ should be able to do a decent amount of damage over on the... Uh, over on the right pier, and a Ranger should go, should go down if he's rolling Trick Room. So he'll go last, and then we'll just be able to dump on it. Let's see what happens here. Show me Protect. Show me Protect. Show it to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, go for that Trick Room. You really think I'm going for you? You really think I'm going for you, right pier? I'm not playing that game. Stop trying to lead me over there. Look at that big old power spot. Come on, yo, Stone Journer. I need you here, buddy. I need you here. I need Stone Journer here. I don't know if he's going to be able to take him out. Let's see what happens. Come on, Stone Journer. Take out this Oranguru. Doesn't affect Gyarados. Get him. Boop. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. And he gets off the Trick Room, man. He gets off the Trick Room, bro. Bro, yo, this dude got off the Trick Room. That's whack. Oh, we have the Charity Berry. So, he's going to Dynamax right here. Oh, this is going to be so nice. This is going to be so nice. He's going to Dynamax right here. He's going to go for the Rock Vault. We should be able to eat it up because we have the Charty Berry. And then, actually, we're going to trigger Weakness Policy first. No, 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 no. He has Trick Room. He has Trick Room. We've got Dynamax right here. This could actually work out better for us. The Charty Berry coming on this thing. Should actually be very, very nice. The Stone Journer is not going to go down in one shot. Stone Journer has a Focus Ash. But Oranguru might be able to hit it up. But he's going to go for the Rock Vault. He's going to change up the weather on us, obviously. And then, oh, then Geyser won't take out. It's going, it's going to be close. Rockfall comes out. Like I said, here comes our Charty Berry. We should be able to eat up and get off a shot here. Let's see what happens here. And change the weather back to what we want. What you want, fool? Boop, can we eat up? Yeah, yo, all day. Half in that damage. We would have died without that berry. We would have died without the berry. And he's going to switch back up the weather to Sandstorm. And then we are going to come out here with a uh, the Geyser. Ranguru goes for a second. Okay, that's okay. You can go on the Stone Journal all day. We can eat that one up. EQ's going to pop. 
Who's it missing? Oh no, it doesn't affect Garen. It's beautiful. I was gonna say, who's it missing? Ragaru goes down. I think we triggered this thing's weakness policy. It's gotta be WP, right? Yeah, it's weakness policy. This one's gonna be a close one. This one's gonna be a close one. Trick Room's tough to play up against. Especially since we couldn't kill that Ragaru. Man, dude. I thought we were getting that thing early on. I thought we were getting it early on. Here comes the geyser. Can we KO? I need KO here. I don't think we're gonna be able to KO. Let's see. Oh, we do, dude. Thank you, Power Spot. Thank you, Power Spot. Unless we got a crit. That was huge damage. You Power Spot coming up clutch. That was all Power Spot. I'm telling you guys. It is so good. Not even in the rain. Not even in the rain. Oh, my lord. Big old damage. Big old damage. Moxie Prox, too. Ooh, dude, we chilling. We are chilling. He has two down. Who's he going to go into? He has no Dynamax left. We still have Noctowl and Pelipper in the back end. So, that's, that's pretty solid. We can get the rain. And Hurricane will not miss in the rain. With that uh, life orb as well. He goes Copper Zod. Copper Zod's, uh, I think he poses a little threat. He's a Delmice as well. Hmm. Delmice and Copper Uh, definitely Airstream going into the Delmice. Right, uh, potentially take that thing out in one hit. And then the, uh, the Rock Side's gonna pop out here. Not the Rock Side, the EQ. I'm guessing this Copper Zod might be life orb. Considering, usually Copper Zod's hold the weakness policy, but the Rhyperior in this case held the weakness policy. So, I'm just gonna go EQ. I'm just gonna go EQ. And drop an airstream. Be chilling. Power up comes out. You should be able to. Oh, wow. That did some big old damage. Copper Zod use iron. Okay. Good thing my boy survived. Good thing my boy survived. My Gyarados. Jeez, man. Good thing my Gyarados survived. So we get off one nice airstream. This should be able to KO this Delmas. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, my lord. That power whip did a heaping amount of damage. From the Delmas. We get the speed boost. And it comes down to a 3v1. It comes down to a 3v1. I'm going to uh, pop out on Noctowl right now. I'm going to get Noctowl out here right here right now. Oh, no. I don't have Noctowl. I have Ludicolo. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Why did I think I brought Noctowl? I guess from that last battle. Yeah, I'm going to just bring Ludicolo. I go for a fake out easily. And then get another shot from my big old Gyarados here. But we're chilling here. Battle number two looking good. We made one person quit. This seems awesome. And then we're chilling in this one. Should have this one in the bag with this fake out. Uh, do I Dragon Dance? Or how many turns left in uh, Trick Room? That's the real question. Two, so I cannot Dragon Dance. Our attack's plus two. I'm just going to go hit him with a Waterfall in the rain. That should be able to do big damage. He might actually just quit and run this match. But jeez, we're doing good. Yo, Fake Out comes out. Bop, yo. You flinching, little boy. You flinching, little boy. And Waterfall should be able to come up and possibly pick up this KO as it's plus two in the rain. Let's go and stab. Yeah, dude. See you later, yo. This team. This team is too good. We're 2-0. We're probably going to do four battles considering... The first one was quick, the dude quit, and we ran this one as well. Keep it rolling, baby. We are 2 0, oh, two game win streak here. Going up against a Sandstorm team. He has Token tomorrow for a uh, Lightning Rod. Is that Lightning Rod Token tomorrow? I know they do learn it. I know they learn it. He has Mimikyu and Token Kiss as well. So, um, who are we going to lead? Who are we going to lead? Um, probably not Pelper. I think we go Gyarados Stone Journey again. It's just such a good lead. And then we bring Pelper in the back end, and then maybe Noctowl? I mean, Noctowl could be pretty strong. Noctowl could roll out pretty good here, so that is exactly who I'm going to bring. I'm going to need another attacker, so it's either Ludicolo or Noctowl. So do I go with the Swift Swim, or do I... I say I go with Life Orb Boy. I say I go with Life Orb Boy right here. He's going to go... Uh, he has Extra Drill and T-Tar. If he leads in, then I get in Pelipper. If not, I'm going to just uh, Dynamax early on my uh, Gyarados and roll out from there. But let's just see. Let's just see. Dude, that Gyarados is so good. And he has a Charty Berry, which can actually end up going huge for us, which could be huge for us. I think he's going to go Exidrill and maybe Togekiss. Something along those lines. And maybe try to swap in the T-Tar or Exidrill Toga tomorrow. Better get a Fake Out. Roll out from there. If he does go Toga tomorrow, I'm probably just going to uh, Dynamax. Because he has Fake Out on it. And I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with the Fake Outs. I can drop a Rock Slide. And then I can go from there. I could go from there. I, I would probably go for an Airship. Start trying to get the Speed Advantage on this match. Because the Speed is going gonna, is gonna to be key for this game. It's going to be so big. This dude has three seconds to pick. He better get on it. He better get on it. There he goes. He made his last second pick. He was stream sniping me. He was, he was checking what team I'm using, even though I'm not streaming. But, yeah, we're going to try to get uh, four battles in for this video. This is the third battle because the first two were rather quick. We just smacked on the first guy, getting the psh, psh. He hit the quit button. The third or the second guy, we were just like psh, psh, psh. Slapped this whole team up, gave him a wampins, and now we're hopping into the third battle. So, the first two were quick, so I'm going to give you guys a fourth one. He goes into Lapras and Togi Togi. Lapris and Togi Togi. Okay, that's fine. He can set the rain if he wants. He can set the rain, big dog. I'm gonna start taking speed advantage. I really don't want to trigger weakness policy, so I'm gonna start taking speed advantage. Maybe you can go for a follow me if you want. I'm gonna go for a rock slide. 
I'm gonna go for a rock slide. Double super effective. We might actually proc weakness spots here, which is eh, which is kind of scary. Which is kind of scary, but we should be able to take out Tokus here if it goes for a follow me, no problem. Just with an airstream and a, a rock slide. And then hopefully this Tokus is likely. Maybe I shouldn't have went into the rock slide. I really do wonder what's happening. We we got it out, right? Like that's a fact. That is a fact. And this thing probably is having lightning, so we don't have a Raichu on the squad, so. E. Hopefully he, he thinks that we have Raichu, and he's like, okay, I can't go into the lightning because he has Raichu. Yeah, look at Stone Junior's little head. He has like a little rock sect up on his head. I think it's hilarious. I think it is hilarious. But yeah, we got these uh, Lapras scenes. They're, they're, they're a bit of a pain. I think Ludicolo could have did some work on this thing, but we do have a coverage grass move. So as long as I can start getting boosts and stuff, we can be chilling. We can be chilling. Can you imagine if Gyarados can just one tap this on Tokus? If it goes if it goes into a follow me. If it goes into a follow me, which I do think is gonna happen. I think we're gonna see a Dynamax Lapras and then a follow me come out. Right? Yeah, here goes the Dynamax Lapras in that beautiful dive ball. And he's gonna hit that follow me button. And then he's gonna drop a uh nice. Hopefully on my stone joiner. And then we have the focus ash and we can stay alive a little bit longer. Look at that. G-Max Lapras been taken over. I'm getting real sick of it. I'm getting real sick of it. Like get it out of here. This thing has too much HP. I don't even think our airstream is going to do too much. Are we going to see a follow me? We do not. Okay, we do not see a follow me. That, that's totally fine. We're going to hit up this. We're going to get a speed boost. Not bad damage, to be honest. Not bad damage. That's a, that's a heaping amount for how bulky a Lapras is. Jeez, man. We get the speed. The speed boost. And we're going to go chop this rock side. Yeet. Nice damage to Togus. Please show me this thing's not weak to policies. Bruh, it is. Please go after my stone journer. Please. I'm hoping. I'm hoping Gleam comes out here. Oh my lord, brings that thing down to the sash. He gets a crit on that thing, didn't keep him out. I think special defense is doo doo, yo. It's doo doo. And this thing goes for a max geyser over all my stone journer. Please take on my stone journer. Okay, yo, that's wonderful. Set the set the rain for us so I can get Noctowl up in here. Oh, this is. Oh, we're looking good. We're looking good, good. So, Gyarados is obviously going to be faster. But now we got the rain for ourselves. We're going to get Noctowl up in here. So Hurricane's gonna be 100% hit. Hurricane is 100% hit. Uh, do I boost the speed again? I think I have to boost the speed. Okay, yeah, let's get the speed on. We'll go Airstream over on you. And then I go for a Hurricane, because I can potentially see a Protect. Or at least a Follow Me, right? I could Calm Mine, I could Roost. I think I'm gonna Protect, because I think we're gonna see a, a Resonance come out. A Follow Me in the Resonance, so I am going to Protect. Because there's no way we're taking out the Lapras. The hur one Hurricane or one Max Airstream isn't taking out that Lapras. But I really think we're going to see a Follow Me come out into the Resonance over on my Noctowl. So I'm just going to protect the Noctowl so we can actually survive. Get him the Speed Boost, take out the Tokus, and then we can roll from there. Follow me? Yep, okay. You see, dude, yo, your boy's too good. Your boy is too good. Like, he knows what's happening before it even happens. Airstream comes out here. Boop takes out Togekiss, so we get the speed boost on this thing. I can take out the Lapras next turn, no problem. No problem. I'm gonna get the Moxie boost. Ooh wee, dude. Ooh wee. There's no way going after my Gyarados. There's not a chance. We did proc his weakness policy, so uh, that's a little scary. Hopefully my Noctowl can eat with the Protect. I'm hoping it can. Should be going. Oh, it goes for a Lightning. Over on Gap. Whoa. Bad play by us. Bad play by us. No way. No way, yo, dude, this dude just played me dirty. This dude just played me dirty. I probably just praising myself, saying, your boy knows what's going on. Oh, my lord, this dude drops a lightning. I thought for sure he's going for that resonance. Oh, dude, he played me so dirty. Helper, get out there. Helper, get out there. Oh, no. Dude, that would have, we would have been chilling if that would happen. We would have been chilling if he went after my knockdown. So he's definitely dropping ice here, and he's going to go into t -tar, maybe? Yep. Mmm, yo, yeah, dude, this game's over. Actually, will Drizzle come out or no? Let's see. I don't think Drizzle will come out. Unless it does. It does! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> it does. That is wonderful. Is uh, Lapras done turns? No, it isn't. So I could go for a Hydro Pump. Or, you know what? No, you know what? We gotta double into this Lapras. Lapras gotta go down here. Lapras has got to go down here. Hopefully my Noctowl can just one-tap this thing. Hurricane, you does not. I need you, Pelper. Pelper, come up clutch, buddy. Pelper is slower than the T-Tar. The Rock Slide's gonna come out. I knew I should've wide guard it. Like, I, I saw this coming. This is game, yo. This is game. I had to wide guard there. 
But it was tough. There was really no way out of it. There was no way out of it. GG to this guy. Uh, Pelper's going to come in here, pick up the KO. Hold up. Can Pelper clutch it up? Nah, not, not a chance. Because Xjo's just going to come out here. And he's going to say night night. He's going to say night night. But yo, 2 and 1 with this team so far. We're going to hop into a fourth and final battle. We're going to try to go 3 and 1 with this team and sit pretty. I feel like we could have had that, but that that play that he made. When he went after my Gyarados, that's what changed the game. But he would have went after my Noctowl. I would have been chilling. I would have been chilling. But I'm just going to run. I'm going to keep my little Pelipper alive here. I'm going to keep him alive. Yes, I do want to run. Not no. And we're going to say GG to this guy. Yo, 2 and 1. Let's hop into this fourth and final battle and try to get ourselves in another win. Fourth and final battle coming at you guys. I haven't said that in a while. I haven't said fourth and final battle in so long because we're used to doing three battles. I used to do four like every here and there a little bit back, but we've been doing three recently. This guy has a... Uh, ooh. Ooh, that Barrascooter is kind of throwing me off. That Barrascooter. Ah, looking a little scary. Looking looking a little scary. I'm going to go Stern Journey Gyarados. I know I've been going it all all video, but it's just so strong. It's just so strong not to pass up. Uh, do I bring Noctowl here? I mean, um, not Noctowl. I definitely want Noctowl here. Do I bring Paloops? Actually, we might not even bring Noctowl, even though I want him. Noctowl's an absolute beast. Do I bring Noctowl? Well, you know what? I, th I feel like what's called is going to be so much better. But we're not going to bring Noctowl. We're going to go Pelper and Ludicolo. Ludicolo has that stab grass with that extra, uh, that extra bird belt. Or the, that works against Supreme Arena. We got the stab grass with Supreme Arena, Rhyperior, and the Barrage Scooter. Like, ooh, we. And then we got water to cover that Charizard. We're looking pretty well here. We are looking pretty well. There's no way of... Oh, well, he can't set weather with Dynamax. But he has no Pokemon to just set. So we might go Trick Room turn one, which, um... I mean, I think we could potentially just take this thing out. Unless he goes for a follow me, then we're uh, then I might not even go for a uh, Dynamax Gyarados and save my Dynamax for the later usage. Then I might just uh, pop off into a waterfall and then into maybe like a rock slide or something along those lines. Maybe make that thing flinch. That could be good. But come on, yo, I want this win. Those first two battles we dumped on it. We would have had that third battle if he just would have sent a Resonance or a Lightning over all my knockdown. I seriously thought that was gonna happen, but he made the nice read and he ended up getting that win. But he goes Tokus and Charizard. Togekiss and Charizard. Um, that's 100% fine on me. Fine on my part. Um, do I see the swap? Like, what do I see happening? I'm definitely Dynamax. I'm going for. I'm gonna go for the Airstream. I'm definitely going for the Airstream. He's probably gonna go for the Airstream as well. I'm just gonna drop a Rock Slide over on this thing. He actually might go for a flare, which is fine by me. Which is fine by me. I can eventually just set the set the rain. He's probably gonna go for follow me into a uh maybe a flare. We'll see, we'll see in a second. Or or, or possibly an airstream onto my Gyarados. But I'm a Dynamax and I'm gonna meet this thing halfway. I'm gonna meet this thing halfway, I'm not playing around. Because he's gotta go for a follow me. I pose such a big threat with the guys. I pose too big of a threat with the guys here. That's why I went into the, the airstream. Maybe I should have just set the rain, but I kind of want to start trying to get the speed advantage and then drop the rock slides out here. We can probably say bye bye to the tokens and then maybe have the speed advantage over the uh, the Charizard. And if we have that, we just roll into Max Hazard and uh, do some big old work. Big old work. Big old work. But this thing's got to be going into the It has it probably has airstream overgrowth and uh, and uh, wildfire. See what happens? Follow me. Yep. Yep. That's totally fine, man. That is totally fine. Rockfall comes out here. Oh, this thing's rocking. Rockfall? We got a Rockfall, little boy. Yo, good thing we got that Charty Berry, though. You don't want the smoke, little boy. Good thing we got that Charty Berry. Yo, we eating up. We eating up all day. It's a tasty snack you got there. Let's see what happens here. I think my Stone Journey is going to be able to pick up the KO. Let's see, we got the Airstream coming out here. Yeet. Not bad damage. The Stone Journey should be able to pop off here. If this Rock Slide hits, we should be able to take this thing out. And be chilling. And be chilling. Rock side. Oh, who's it missing? Charizard avoids it. Okay, hits Tokus. I'm cool with that. The Tokus gone. Get it out of here. Get it gone, kid. So I'm hoping my Gyarados should be able to outspeed this Charizard. We can roll through a geyser. Put the rain, all that. And power spot should be able to. We should just be able to one tap the same and say night night. If we do land a geyser. Whom are you gonna go after? Or who is he gonna play next? He's gonna play the Dust Clops. Okay. Here's the tough part. I mean, he doesn't have another Dynamax. That's the thing. He doesn't have another Dynamax. So it might just be safe play to just go into the Charizard. We might go for the ally switch. But I'm still going to drop another Rock Slide. I'm still going to drop another Rock Slide. Is he going to play ally switch? He is going to play ally switch. Dude, I see. I, I say those things. And then I don't even do it. Then I don't even do it. But we get to change up the weather here. 
we have to change up the weather to something more our type. Something more fashionable, reasonable for us. So we're gonna do some damage onto that dust cops. Uh, at least he doesn't get trick off. That's pretty big. At least he doesn't get trick off, so. And I think we should be able to eat up a rock slide or max rock ball. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. Let's see. Can we do outspeed. Yeah, dude, we eat that up all day. Oh my lord, that's doo doo damage. That's some doo doo damage. It's not stab. This, part, this dude's probably freaking out. Oh, why don't I take him out? There's just doo doo damage. And stone. Oh, dude, rock slide's missing somebody. Oh, this thing's Charty Berry. I think it's Charlie Berry as well. Oh my god, do some mean damage to that thing. Okay, um. I think we either way we picked up pick up the double kill here. Rock slide and uh I see I just go after dust cops. Hmm. I'm just gonna go after dust cops. He doesn't have to go for an ally switch. He does not have to go for an ally switch. Dude, this combo's too good. You guys definitely gotta try it out. Get that code. At the beginning of the video, this thing max yards. So I'm totally fine with it, dude. We're going after dust cops, bro. <laughs> but yeah, get that code at the beginning of the video or it's in the description below. Type that out. Use this team up. It is so good. I've been ripping on the rank ladder. Ripping, dude. Ripping, baby. And the team that I used last time, the Venusaur slash Trick Room Sun team over there. That we went on six game win streak on stream. And then it led to this. So we actually went on an eight game win streak and then lost one. Because we won the first two. Moxie gets the boost. Rockside comes out, Max Guard's gonna come out here, block that up, and uh, Dynamax turns are over. We are faster than everybody on the field. Just, dude, this is GG, dude. It's just GG. And we have that Noctowl in the back. Oh, yo, you're dead, Rhyperior. Um, Rhyperior is honestly gonna go for the Protect, in my opinion. In my opinion, I think is going for the Protect. I'm just gonna go for a Waterfall over here. Charizard. I'm gonna drop an uh, EQ. I'm gonna EQ this. Boy. I'm gonna EQ it up, baby. It's like I said, we have the speed. I fear it could potentially be going for a protect. Let's see what happens. No, he does not. Waterfall comes out here. He's probably gonna take me. Uh, he's probably gonna take out my what's it called here. My uh, my Garrus, which is totally fine with a rock slide. I could just went for a wide guard. I should just went for a wide guard, unless it's six rocket stone edge. It. Don't run out speeds. Goes for an EQ. It doesn't affect them. Dang it. I oh, know it doesn't affect Garrus. I was gonna say right here. I was gonna say I was gonna be like, yo, what you mean? It doesn't affect right here. This thing WP is not. Oh, it has Thunder Punch Rocket Iron. That should KO me either way. And I'm gonna bring out Noctowl here. I have the rain set. Hurricanes are 100% in the rain. Noctowl has that life orb. We're gonna. Oh, I do not have Noctowl. Why do I keep thinking I have Noctowl? We have Ludicolo. Either, either way, Ludicolo is a great choice in the rain. Has that Source Slim. We have those Stab Grass moves. Special Attack dumps on the right here, and it's game over. Energy Ball. Throw this out. And then I'm just go, going to go through for a wide guard just to have some fun and see the animation. But dude, this guy's probably going to cancel. This team, guys, seriously, try it out if you want to push rank ladder. It is so easy to play with the rain. You go power spot Gyarados, and you roll out strong, absolutely dominating your opponent. Energy ball comes out. This should pick up the KO with the extra belt. GG, baby. Yo, 3-1. I wish we would have went 4-0. This team is insane. This is one of my new favorite teams I use. Let's get it, guys. It is way too easy with this team. I swear, this might be the best rain team I have seen so far. The Stone Journal rocks out with that power spot. Garrus thrives under that, gets the Moxie boost. We have a Noctowl for back end special attacking with that Life Orb, and Hurricane will hit 100% of the time in the rain. And most of the time, we have the rain because we have the Damp Rock Pelper, and we have the Gyarados and other Pokemon sending Max Geysers out. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.